What's up guys? My initial thoughts on Arena Breakout Infinite is interesting. I gave the game a few hours tonight and wanted to give my initial day one feedback. Yes, I know only a few hours in is not enough to completely give a review on a game. However, I wanted to give you guys my initial reaction to it and see what you guys think. For the TLDR, the game feels like an in-between of those that liked Tarkov but didn't like how insanely hardcore it was and wanted something a little more simpler, this is probably that for you. For Call of Duty DMZ players or Call of Duty players in general that want a little more hardcore systems in a game, this seems like it will be perfect for you, right up your alley. Um, it definitely seems to just have a nice balance and a nice mix in between those two games. It's doesn't have the, uh, I would say, the difficulty of trying to find those quests. I mean, it literally just shows you on the map where you need to go for your quests. Um, you have a compass so you can see which way you're looking. Extracts are marked on the map. They tell you what you need directly on the map. So in terms of like extracts compared to Tarkov, definitely a lot easier. Definitely a lot easier game mechanics. Um, now the gunplay to Call of Duty definitely feels a little more hardcore. Um, definitely a lot more arcadey than Tarkov because you can eat a lot more bullets, I think, than you can in Tarkov. But I also think it's going to be a little bit more difficult for Call of Duty players. But I know there's a lot of Call of Duty players that want a little bit more of a difficult system. Um, and I think this is going to grab a decent amount of DMZ players, especially with the fact that this is going to be free to play. So the game seems to focus hard on PvP, whether that's what you're looking for in it or not. There is AI in the game. However, I will say out of Grey Zone, Tarkov, and Arena Breakout, um, I would say this is probably the weakest AI in terms of the game sense and the way they play, um, but I'm sure they're working on an improve on that, so we'll see how that goes. But the game definitely pushes PvP. I mean, I had a PvP fight every single game I was in tonight, multiple probably within multiple raids um, or within a single raid, just because of the sheer amount of, I think, the size of the map and probably the amount of players are on a map. I don't know exactly how many players can be on a map, but it just feels like a lot. And if you do want PvP, this game does seem to focus on that and push that hard. The gun building is strongly inspired from Escape from Tarkov, and that's okay because it is a solid system. If you like building and modding guns, you will enjoy this a ton. It looks to make it as simple as possible in that gun modding screen, but I can imagine they build on this system going forward because it's a pretty solid foundation they've got, and I don't think any issue with just kind of copying what Tarkov set and then going from there. The game also looks pretty solid and seems to be running pretty solid on most systems, but definitely curious as this is always a big topic and point of discussion. I was averaging tonight, I would say around 150 FPS while streaming all night. And it's going to be interesting because I know a lot of people have been mentioning their performance and their systems running on Grey Zone Warfare. It's been a big topic. So it's definitely going to be an interesting topic to see how this handles as well in this game. Um, so we'll see. I mean, obviously with time with release, we'll see how that goes, but... The next point is the free-to-play aspect is one that is going to have to be fleshed out correctly. But if done right, you can really pull a heavy player base from Call of Duty and Tarkov because that's where I see the majority of the player base filling this up on um, is probably going to be from those two player base. I, I definitely think that those two player bases, the majority are looking for something new and looking for something fresh. Grey Zone Warfare is a technically an extraction shooter, but it has way more milsim content in it than than those two games. It's not this this is much more of a Tarkov style game than anything else. Um, so obviously I'm gonna play it some more. I'm gonna give it a few more hours um, over the next few days and then give some more feedback and then probably give like a after one week review. So stay tuned to the channel if you're looking for that. Um, but I'll be streaming some of the game as well um, tomorrow night. So make sure you tune, tune into the Twitch channel and catch me live over there. But we're also gonna be live tomorrow during the day with some Grey Zone Warfare content. I think we're just gonna do a couple arena breakout streams at night um, and we'll see how that goes and get some feedback from you guys. I'm also getting back to any regularly on this channel right now, any regularly scheduled Grey Zone Warfare guides and content so don't worry gray zone isn't going anywhere that's the main game that's what we're staying with that is just our game and if you're looking for gray zone warfare content this is the right channel um i just know a lot of people were curious about arena breakout it came out tonight for closed beta i wanted to give some early feedback on it and then i'll have a second video on it a week from now thank you guys for all the love we just made youtube partner program freaking crazy everybody who's watched my videos and supported me over the last few days thank you thank you thank you thank you Genuinely love you guys all so much. You guys are making a dream a reality, and I promise to keep working hard for you guys and making some content that you guys all enjoy watching. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. Talk to you guys later. Peace.